Okay, so hi guys, it's Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another one of my videos or welcome to my channel if you are new. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a reshade tutorial for The Sims 4. So I'm going to be showing you how to install reshade, uh, what you need, you know, to get it working. And I'm also going to be showcasing my Vibrance reshade preset, which you can go ahead and download and use in your games to basically make your Sims 4 look exactly the way uh, that mine does. So in terms of this reshade, it is a really nice saturated version of the game. Um, it balances out the contrast and the shadows. I normally find that the game by default is very very dark it's quite dull dark it has a lot of like random blues everywhere so i've taken a lot of those colors out and i've added a lot of like warm honey tones in um the greens are really vibrant pink so all, all really bright colorful colors are more colorful if that makes sense um and i also went ahead and made sure that the game was generally brighter and more vibrant just so it puts you in a good mood to want to play the sims you know in general when everything's like bright and colorful it makes you want to play the game more uh, but also because youtube makes videos really Really, really dark it's also good to use these on youtube videos if you are recording your own youtube videos it personally i think it looks really good in gameplay i've been working on this reshade preset for around a year or so so a really really long time um, and i think i finally got it to a place where i think that it's ready for the public so let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll go ahead and show you how to install it. So first of all, you need to click on the link in the description and it will link you to my Tumblr page, which will have a link to this post just here. This is my reshade preset post. Currently it's sitting in drafts because obviously I haven't actually published it just yet. So you can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and as you can see, these are the pictures that you would have already seen of the preset and you know, the way that it looks. Let's go ahead and jump right into the reshade installation and then I'll go ahead and show you how to get set up with my preset. So first of all, if you head down onto the Tumblr page, you can go ahead and click on the keep reading option that was on there um, and go ahead and click on the reshade download that I've included in here. So go ahead and click that and it will link you directly to the reshade website. So go ahead and click on this little download button and it will link you to the bottom where you can go ahead and download reshade 4.6.1. So go ahead and click on this version and it will go ahead and download it into your downloads folder, which you can go ahead and find in your libraries in your downloads and it will be in here or if you've got um, Google Chrome you can go ahead and click on the little button down here and it will go ahead and open it so this is where we go ahead and select the game and manage its reshade installation so if we go ahead and click on here most of the time the sims 4 never shows up and um, just for some reason the sims 4 is never ever found on here but as you can see there are a few random games that i play quite regularly on here and um, but just the sims 4 never shows up on here which is fine so you can go ahead and browse for the game now my game is actually in a different place to where most people's is but i can go ahead and show you how to find out where your game is no matter uh, what computer you've got, you know, no matter where it's installed to. So go ahead and head to your desktop and you should have a Sims 4 uh, shortcut. You may also be able to click in the bottom left hand corner and also type in the Sims 4 and it will also come in, uh, it'll also come up on here as well. So depending on which one you want to do, you can go ahead and click on here and open file location from here. Or if you go ahead and click on the shortcut, right click on the shortcut and click open file location from here. So this actually links you to the bin legacy, which is the legacy version of The Sims 4. So if you're running on the legacy version, you can just go ahead and um, copy this folder just like this, uh, click copy, and that will save this um, directory so that you can find it later on. Um, but if you're not running on the legacy version of the game, like I am, most people aren't running on the legacy version, but go ahead and click on this little game folder up here or click the back button. Um, and it'll go ahead and link you back to here where it will say bin, um, underscore le or bin up here so go ahead and click on the bin and then we can go ahead and do the same thing you can click on here and then click the copy button and that will copy the directory so we can just go ahead and find it again so you can go ahead and close this now uh, when you're on the reshade application you can then go ahead and click the browse button and in here you can just go ahead and paste your uh, paste the directory that we've just gone ahead and copied in there and it will go ahead and link you to wherever your game is um, installed which it should say the sims 4 x64 again if you've got the legacy version it should just say the sims 4 no x64 at the end but if you're using the 64 bit like i am just go ahead and click on this application and go ahead and click the open button so when it does this um, it will ask which rendering api the sims 4 uses it uses direct x9 so go ahead and click on this version here don't click on any other versions because the game does not use those. So just go ahead and click on the DirectX uh, 9 version. Now, because I've already got Reshade installed, it is actually asking me if I want to update, but normally it would just go ahead and skip and say, do you want to install? Which you can go ahead and click the yes button, but I'm just going to click update. It looks exactly the same. Now, this, this um, screen actually pops up 
and it has a bunch of different effects. Now go ahead and click on all of them, just because in the future if I make another reshade it might include any of these effects, plus at some point you might want to load any of these effects um, yourself once I show you how to use them. So just go ahead and select all of them, barring the last one. The last one right at the very bottom is Legacy Standard Effects, which are um, shaders used by previous versions of reshade, which if you've got this version of reshade you don't need. So just go ahead and leave that one, but install all the rest of them, um, and then you can go ahead and click the OK button. And then when it does this, it will keep coming up with all of these uh, pop-ups where you just click OK. Doesn't matter what it's already got selected, um, just click OK. Whatever it's whatever it's automatically got selected is what I've got, and that way your game will work the same way that mine does. <laughs> so just go ahead and click the OK button on all of these, and it will automatically install all of the shaders that you might need. Um, and then go ahead and let it finish. So I'll go ahead and skip, just make sure you click OK on everything. And then once it's finished, I'll go ahead and meet you back here. So once you're finished, you can go ahead and click on the edit reshade settings. And this is where it will ask you to select your preset. So normally there'll be nothing in this little folder because you haven't set up a preset before, but obviously it's automatically set up to my preset. So now we're gonna go ahead and download the preset that I've actually given you. Um, so let's go ahead and head back to the Tumblr page. As you can see, I've uploaded my preset. You can either um, you can either use the link with Adfly or without Adfly. I know for Adfly it can be, be a little bit glitchy, so if you do want to support me, you can use the version with Adfly. Um, but if it's a little bit glitchy for you, you know, don't bother. Just go ahead and click on the without Adfly version, and it will go ahead and link you to the page where it will automatically start downloading my Vibrance preset from the Sims file shell. You are going to need an extractor, so something like WinRAR or 7-Zip, which I've also linked down here as well. I'm not going to show you how to install WinRAR or 7-Zip because there are videos on YouTube where you can already find out how to do that. But if you need to, go ahead and install either one of those, depending on which one you want to use. Um, if you don't know how to do it, go and watch a YouTube video for that, and then come back to this video once you've got that installed. So from here you can go ahead and click the show in folder section or it's just going to be in your downloads wherever you automatically have it set up to install to. There we go, it's gone ahead and installed and as you can see it is a WinRAR archive but obviously you can go ahead and extract it with whatever you already have installed WinRAR or 7-Zip. So let's go ahead and open this up. If you go ahead and double click on it, it'll automatically open it up. Um, so this is what it looks like inside. This is the actual preset and these are some images. So these are the images I showed you um, earlier in the video. So obviously you probably won't need those, so it doesn't really matter. But if somebody's downloading the preset and hasn't watched the video, then it might be worth them having a look at these pictures. But you can just go ahead and grab this .ini file and just drag it out onto your desktop just down here and it will go ahead and extract it for you there. Now you won't need this folder anymore so you can then go ahead and just delete that folder there is no need for you to have that anymore because you've now got my preset already now this preset has got to go in a specific place the place where we just was so if you go ahead and click on your libraries and you should um, you should still have the directory that we copied earlier to install the reshade. You if you go ahead and click up here onto your libraries and click Control V or paste, it will link you to the same place that you was before. So you can go ahead and click on here and it will link you to the correct place, which you can go ahead and do like that. Um, again, if you if it, if it hasn't copied it or if you haven't copied it or if you've done, if you copied something since then um, and you, you can't find it again, go ahead and type in The Sims 4 down here, click on open file location, or you can do the same thing with the uh, shortcut that's actually on your desktop just here go ahead and open file location and copy that just what you did before so this preset needs to go into your bin so all you can do is just go ahead and drag it in here now as you can see i've got a bunch of different presets in here i've got dove reshade i've got harry's light brigade reshade um so you can put all of your reshade presets in here so obviously mine's already in here as well but just go ahead and drag that into here and at last to move it to the bin i will just go ahead and replace it because it doesn't really matter um, and now it is officially in your bin so you are gucci so you can go ahead and uh, close that because you've now installed my preset and just in here it's going to ask you where um it's going to ask you what preset do you want to use when you load up the game so you can go ahead and click on these two little eyes if it has automatically found the folder for you then great you can just go ahead and select my preset and click the open button um, but if it hasn't you will need to go ahead and again use that directory that we just copied and pasted click the paste button up here click enter and it will link you to the right place just go ahead and select on miss lollipop vibrant preset and it will go ahead and just select that that is all you need to do you can go ahead and click OK now um, and then you can click the little X button on here and now we can go ahead and load up our game so I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys in game so go ahead and load up your games um, and then I'll show you how to get everything sorted and what you can do in game with my preset so whilst you're loading up the game you will see a little bar at the top um, at the top 
obviously mine's already gone but it will lag a little bit especially on your first time loading it's just because it's loading all the reshade files um, and everything that you've just installed so don't worry if it's doing some weird lag or it's really slow to load up it will be a lot faster the second time it's always the first time that takes a really really long time there we go so now we have loaded it into the game so you can go ahead and click the shift f2 button and um, but i've actually got mine set up to my home key so go ahead and click the shift shift f2 button and it will go ahead and load it up now automatically my preset should be already set up for you so it should just be in here if you go ahead and click on this little drop down it will automatically be in there um it may not be um depending on if you didn't do the last step correctly but if it's not just go ahead and click on here and click on my preset from the files that will be in here miss lollipop's vibrant preset Set. now in here you've also got your settings which you can go ahead and select uh, you can go ahead and set up some screenshot keys um, this is really good to use because normally when you click the normal C in game it will take a screenshot it will take a screenshot of the game without your reshade so if you want to take screenshots in game with your reshade you will need to go ahead and use this um, use this button so it should be blank but go ahead and set it up with whatever you want I use pre uh, I use my print screen and then you also have to go ahead and select a screenshot path I put mine to um, a drive that I've got set up on my computer with a Sims 4 images but you can go ahead and get that set up yourself depending on where you want it um, and then you can also go ahead and select a bitmap or a PNG I normally use PNG for like discord and stuff like that but everything else in here is basically useless to you there is there is nothing that you really need to know about it all of this stuff personally don't even know what it does so I just ignore it but if we go back to the home setting this is where you can start changing around the preset so it automatically comes like this it's already loaded if you just want to go ahead and bam use it it's done it looks exactly the way that it does in my game but if there's any things that you maybe want to do to it um you find that it's like too sharp maybe the game is a little bit too sharp for you and you want it to be a little bit smoother you can then go ahead and click on the adaptive sharpness and it will go ahead and take away a little bit of sharpness so if you look on screen behind um when i'm clicking that it's making the game a little bit smoother but personally i don't like it i like my game to be nice and sharp and like a diamond and it's beautiful so i leave that on um but you've also got the vibrance on here so if you want to go ahead and turn off vibrance Brent, it will turn down a little bit of the color uh, clarity as well turns down a little bit of the color that is um, that is making the game a little bit darker is bringing out the blacks a little bit more um, but if you don't want that and maybe you want your game to be a little bit lighter you can go ahead and turn that off and just click here now to edit any of these um, to edit any of these you can just go ahead and head down here now if you don't know what you're doing I wouldn't suggest editing any of these things if you, if you don't know what you're looking at you can just go ahead and turn everything on and turn it off um, but if you do know what you're looking at you can go ahead and edit all your values down here um, so the only other thing that I know that I think people might want to use is the depth of field because sometimes when you might want to blur a background i'll go ahead and insert a picture as you can see this picture of my sim has got a blurred background so to be able to add that effect you just go ahead and select on one of the depth of fields which are just down here now i normally use the um, I normally use the Matsov DOF, which is depth of field. You can go ahead and select that. It will lag just for a second. So just, just leave it to lag. Just, just leave it for a second. There we go. And now we've got depth of field and um, it shouldn't change too much in the lobby, but when you're actually in game, it will add a depth of field. It will be a little bit weird, but don't ever turn this on and keep this on if you're actually playing in game. Um, it just generally does not look good. But if you are using screenshots, you can go ahead and use that. Now, um, if you are fine with the game and it is perfect the way that you want it, you can can just go ahead and select this little performance mode um, and then that way it will get rid of the editing bar so now you are completely done and you are finished so to be able to close that you can go ahead and click the shift f2 button or in my case click the home button go ahead and close that and you are back to the game it's beautiful it's vibrant and we are finished so I think that's everything. I've showed you how to install it. I showed you um, how to set up your preset in game and also how to change a few of the settings in game as well. I hope it wasn't too difficult to understand. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything I could have done better. Or if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below um, and I'll go ahead and answer those and try to correct anything that didn't make sense while I was explaining them because I'm not always the best explainer. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off here. So as always, I will speak to you all in the next one. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to go ahead and subscribe and ding that little notification bell next to it so you get notified whenever i upload my next video and if you enjoyed this it would be amazing if you could go ahead and leave it a like um, and share it with your friends if any of those want to go ahead and download reshade as well so i'm gonna go ahead and end it off here and as always i love you all bye guys bye.